Hi guys, it's Nicole. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. We'll be showing you how we insulated our floor and laid our plywood, did our wiring and also put in our Max Air Fan. We hope you enjoy. Alright, so here's the first step that I'm doing for the floor. I'm just marking out and cutting the timber battens that will go on the floor to then fix the plywood too. Alright, what have you done so far? Um, so far I have um, basically got these battens cut for the floor so our plywood um, can go down. Um, basically they're just off cuts of stuff that I had left over from jobs which ended up being the perfect size because our so these ribs are about 10 mil off this floor and then we've got this foam which is 20 so that means we need a 30 mil piece of timber and this LOSP is 30 mil so that was just lucky and it just worked out perfect so you see <laughs> lit and then Dan's just gone around with the the zhuzha thing over there whatever oh yeah that it's just is. a half tube of that automotive adhesive that I had around, just put around the inside of all that kind of window panel, um, just to give it a bit more rigidity. I've just gone around and um, there were some holes in the floor where they had some tie down points um, and where they had the um, cage up the back there. So I just went around and filled all them. So then obviously nothing can get through them because we won't be able to get to them once we put this floor down. We'll uh, just give it a little bit of a clean and then start gluing and screwing. For our floor insulation, we got a XPS foam board and it's 20 mil thick. We measured and cut all of the foam boards so then they would fit perfectly in between the timber battens for the floor. Um, we just put a few daubs of liquid nails down um, where the foam board insulation was going just so then it kind of fixed it in place and stopped it from squeaking when we're driving around, hopefully. We're not too sure if it'll actually work but we'll only find out as time goes on. Dan used a circular saw to cut out the plywood and this goes on top of the floor insulation. After I finished cutting out the plywood sheeting I then just marked the battens with a chalk line and left Chelsea to screw the sheets down. Don't worry mate, you, you, get, you get to practice. See, you need to match the angle with the drill, so other way, you're going the wrong way. Really? Yeah, so yeah, the drip, the screws on it like this. So you need to get your head like to the side of it so you can kind of see what you're doing. Easy as that, mate. We've been sticking the plywood down now and underneath is the floor insulation. We've got more snacks to keep Daniel happy so then he can continue building the van and is not hangry. getting stuff done and I've learnt how to use this thing, drill. <laughs> Much to everyone's surprise, I actually am pretty good at uh, drilling these bad boys screwing. in. Screwing. <laughs> oh, this is good screwing. <laughs> screwing. Got just a little bit, it's going to be... Yeah, you still can... By the time, by the time we put the ceiling on, yeah. There's no arc I'm just going to be able to fit. Yeah, don't grow any taller. That's it. So that's, I'm wearing thick boots though, so when I'm barefoot it won't be too bad. But um, that's why we only went with a 20mm thick foam panel on the floor. Just because we wanted to keep the headspace and provide some insulation to the floor because it is a rather, a rather large surface. Yeah, I mean, I'm almost reaching the top of the van too. <laughs> I'll, like I'll, suck I'll, myself I'll, out. If you hit your head and we're like and had like a massive egg, I would piss myself. I've got a mow in this lighting. Yeah, see? What the heck? I wasn't just pulling your leg. Like this video if you think I have a moustache. Like this video if you think Chelsea should grow a beard. <laughs> I'm gonna do Movember. Yeah, do it. For real though, I do have a moustache. Dear oh dear. I told you. It is a few days later now since we have put in the floor and Dan has very kindly painted it. Um, that is not our floor colour, so don't freak out. We're not having a maroon floor. We will be putting a floating floor on top. This is just for the time being. 
as we start building things. It's just kind of to seal it so then no air moisture goes on it. Pretty sure that's the reason. Um, yeah. We will be cutting out the Max Air Fan hole. Hopefully this afternoon when Dan comes home from work, he'll be able to cut that out and then we'll be able to paint it with rust proof paint and let that dry and then be able to put in the Max Air Fan, which is super, super exciting. Um, we have bought our insulation. It is on its way in the post and we are getting something super exciting. It's made from recycled plastic bottles, which is very cool and... Yeah, so that's exciting. It's all eco and whatever. So tick for that environmental side of the van. The time has come. I'm about to go out and film Dan chopping out our next chop in the van. We're putting in our Max Air fan. The man, the myth, the legend. So Measure we, it out. So we've measured it out and we've got a solar panel that's going to be running this way there. The solar panels are about 650 wide, so 650 roughly will be somewhere there. So we'll have a solar panel running there, and then from there we have to do a 350. Here's the uh, frame, which is 350 by 350. So that's how big our cut's got to be. And then we paralleled it off these ribs, and then off one of these ribs, and then I've kind of checked it for square. So basically now I'm just drilling holes through in all four corners where the fan's going. Um, just then I can go up the top and then link all the holes together and then cut it out from up there. I just marked it out underneath so then I didn't put it in the wrong spot. Dan then used a nibbler to cut the hole for the Max Air Fan and he used a file just to get rid of any of the sharp edges around it. We then painted the edges with rust guard. We've got a hole. Beautiful. It looks so pretty, Dan. Look up. Look at those trees up there. In the blue sky. Bellissimo. <laughs> Alright, the Max Air Fan hole has been cut. We are now just going to put a bit of plastic over the top and duct tape it. Well, I say we. Dan's going to do it. I'm not. <laughs> We are quickly rushing off to go out for dinner at Plant for Bowden in Adelaide. Um, one of our friends is playing acoustic guitar tonight and we're going to go watch her and enjoy some food and friends and I'm going to bring the camera along. Cue Plant for Bowden footage from now. <laughs> Friday afternoon. I've just gotten home from work. Chelsea's still at work, but I'm trying to install this Max Air fan into the hole that we cut. There is a life I lead in this city. <laughs> I'm trying to get the shot on top. Can you film the magazine? Here I am out here in my undies because Chelsea needed a finished product of the Max Air fan. So. There you go, that's one. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart. Probably in his undies. <laughs> Somewhere in the great unknown Can I return Hello, from the afterglow? Ready? Will you carry me like I am home <laughs> Wait. We have the car battery here, or the van battery here, just under the seat. And so basically we will have our dual battery, another two batteries set up in a cupboard here. That'll run up to a fuse box which will be somewhere up here terminated where all these will terminate and basically all these are just labeled with everything and where they're running the van so you got stuff like bed lights you got usb charging ports you got the roof lights um, you got the max air fan you got all that kind of stuff so that'll all be run just nice and neat in the cupboard up here and then you got this 240 volt plug which will plug straight into the inverter 
which will be also in this cupboard. We have, we're trying to just keep all the electrics just in one nice area and have some shelves and stuff where we can just charge everything in the cupboard so it's out of the way and we don't have cords running everywhere. So yeah, this is just the 240 which can plug into the inverter and then that'll run through and then that'll come out on PowerPoint um, kind of in the little wall we build here which just separates the kitchen and the bed. Um, just then we can run blenders and other stuff that we need. Just a good tip that um, wherever you're running the cables through any parts of the van um, chassis kind of thing, just to put little grommets, just then obviously the wires won't bear on any sharp edges, but as you can see, if they're running through the bits of channel like up here, there's no sharp edges for them. And once we stuff insulation up in through those holes, all the wires will be pressed hard up pretty much to the roof, which is a smooth surface, so they're not gonna wear through, especially because this is, it's like you've got a plastic outer and then both the um, cores are both insulated as well so it's pretty hard to wear through. So basically this was just a rough first fix of the electrics. Um, obviously it might change a little bit as we go along but at least we've got everything where we think we need it so then we can start insulating and sheeting and go from there but obviously if we need to make some adjustments we can. Thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Alright, um, so here we have the fan that... <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs>